It's what you've been waiting for, hard enduro fans. The final mountain race at Red Bull Sea to Sky. Who will climb to the top of Mount Olympus and ride to glory? The day two forest race gave us plenty of memorable riding. It was Wade Young who stormed through the breathtaking woods the fastest, with Manuel Lettenbichler and Lars Enikel not far behind. For the day three mountain race, the riders will put everything on the line. The top 10 finishers from the forest race take their positions on the first row, gearing up for the epic battle to come. With the flag drop, Andreas Lettenbichler roars off to take the whole shot, proving once again when it comes to starts, there's no one better. Into the 60 kilometer track that will test skill and resolve, Big Letty is leading the pack from sea to sky. With the famous mountain looming in the distance, let's take a closer look at this treacherous piece of rock. Standing at an intimidating 2,365 meters, Mount Olympus has a long history with hard enduro riders Big Letty and Wade Young. Last part of the race is a long gravel road with a lot of rocks. In 2014, um, I passed Wade Young 50 meters in front of the finish. There's like a little cliff face there that I went up and didn't quite make it all the way up, and uh, Andreas didn't let that pass me for third place. I saw Wade um, the most of the time, you know, like sometimes 50 meter in front, sometimes 150 meter in front, and uh, my trial skills are much better than Wade's. And I saw a different line and overtook him, so I took the last position on the podium. That was uh, one of the big bad memories. You can actually feel your whole way going up because the oxygen's getting thinner and you're battling to breathe and your, your bike's also slowing down a bit and the whole way up it just literally just gets harder and harder, the track gets harder. It's really, really tough. You have to climb up at the, at the really steep uh, rocky sections and uh, the body feels sore, you know, but uh, you have to do it and yeah, when you be in the finish you're really, really happy. Back to the action, where Mount Olympus is already claiming its first victims. Yesterday's forest race winner, Wade Young, goes down hard, fracturing his elbow and forcing him to watch his chances for victory pass by. Billy Bolt also has a tough crash and must forfeit the race. At the riverbed section, the Lettys are in the lead, picking their way through the canyons with some serious skill. Soon, Austria's Lars Enikel and South Africa's Scott Bovary join the fun. Up the mountain, it's a tight back and forth until Little Letty falls behind. Gaining altitude, only a few seconds are separating the top three. Right at home in the mountains, the Austrian passes Big Letty and then Bovary for first. Fighting his way up the dark canyon section, his lead is only getting bigger. Crossing the massive rock valley, Big Letty and Bovary are on each other's wheels for second. Rising among the clouds, Enikel will not be denied. He crosses the finish line for his first hard enduro victory. It's all smiles for the Austrian. In the battle for the rest of the podium, Big Letty throws his bike expertly up the mountain and crosses the finish line only 14 seconds in front of Bovary. Just amazing. Today was the day. Yeah, all my hard work pays off now today. I'm so happy. Can't tell anyone. So, yeah, nice. I made a nice birthday present on my own. <laughs> Spectacular views, unbelievable riding, and a hard enduro first. Red Bull Sea to Sky delivered it all.